Before we dive in, please don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy this video. Okay, here we go. Ah, the sweet scent of suspense. Who will Trump pick as his vice president for the 2024 elections? Now that's a million dollar question. The political grapevine is abuzz with speculation, and we're here to delve into the juicy details. One name that has been making the rounds is Senator Tim Scott of South Carolina. Known for his powerful oratory and strong conservative values, Senator Scott's name has been dropped by Trump himself. Could he be the chosen one? But wait, there's more. South Dakota Governor Kristi Noem is also under the spotlight. Trump mentioned that he's been watching her, adding fuel to the fire of speculation. Noem, with her rural roots and strong alignment with the MAGA movement, could be a strong contender. However, some political pundits suggest that she may not add much political weight to the ticket, especially with suburban women voters. Interestingly, Trump is keeping mum about his final decision. In true Trump fashion, he's chosen to keep us all in suspense. His lips are sealed, and he's not going to announce his vice president for a while. It's a political chess game, and Trump is the grandmaster. He's got us all guessing, creating a whirlwind of intrigue and speculation. From Senator Tim Scott's potential appeal to the African-American voters to Governor Kristi Noem's strong MAGA alignment, the stakes are high and the suspense is palpable. So, will it be Scott, Noem, or someone else entirely? Maybe a dark horse is waiting in the wings, ready to surprise us all. Well, we'll just have to wait and see, won't we? Now, there have been some pretty, um, interesting suggestions for Trump's VP pick. Trust me, you can't make this stuff up. For instance, tech mogul and SpaceX founder Elon Musk, well known for his own distinctive brand of unpredictability, has thrown his support behind Vivek Ramaswamy. Now this isn't a name you hear every day in political circles. Ramaswamy, a biotech entrepreneur, has been making headlines with his conservative stances and high-profile stunts. And Musk, well, he seems to be quite taken with the idea. Perhaps he sees a bit of his own disruptive spirit in Ramaswamy. Or maybe it's just another one of Musk's famous curveballs. Then we have Peter Navarro, a former White House advisor to Trump, who's not shy about sharing his opinions. He's got a list of no-go candidates that reads like a who's who of the GOP. Nikki Haley, Ted Cruz, Josh Hawley, all get a thumbs down from Navarro. He's even got a nickname for the former VP, Mike Pence, calling him a rhino. That's Republican in name only, for those not up with the lingo. But don't worry, it's not all doom and gloom in Navarro's world. He's got his eye on some high-probability targets like Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. Navarro seems to think that if DeSantis agreed to be Trump's running mate, it would clear the Republican field and make them unstoppable. But then again, DeSantis is pretty busy with his own re-election campaign as governor of Florida. So, will we see a Trump-DeSantis ticket, or perhaps a Trump-Ramaswamy one? Only time will tell. But one thing's for sure, the speculation and intrigue around Trump's VP pick is heating up, and it's going to be quite the roller coaster ride. So buckle up folks, because it's about to get interesting. Now, let's get down to the nitty gritty. What impact will Trump's VP pick have on the 2024 elections? Let's dive right in. Each potential VP has their own unique strengths and weaknesses that could sway the election. Let's start with Senator Tim Scott. Scott, being the only African-American Republican in the Senate, could potentially help Trump gain traction with African-American voters. His moderate stance on issues like police reform could also appeal to suburban women voters. However, Scott's moderate approach could also alienate Trump's more conservative base. Next, we have Governor Kristi Noem, a darling of the MAGA movement she could energize the base and bring in rural voters. However, her rural appeal and alignment with the MAGA movement might not sit well with suburban women voters, a demographic that's predicted to play a crucial role in the 2024 elections. Then there's Florida's Governor Ron DeSantis. The man's popularity among Republicans is undeniable. Pairing him with Trump could create a formidable ticket. But there's a catch. DeSantis has his eyes set on re-election as Florida's governor so he might not be game for the VP role. Lastly, we have the wild card. Vivek Ramaswamy. The biotech entrepreneur and conservative firebrand has garnered attention with his unorthodox stances and high-profile stunts. His business background could appeal to some voters, but he's a relative newcomer to politics which could be a double-edged sword. Of course, these are all speculations. The true impact of Trump's VP pick will depend on a myriad of factors, including their ability to campaign effectively, connect with voters, and present a united front with Trump. So, who do you think Trump should pick as his VP? How do you think they'd fare against Joe Biden in the 2024 elections? We'd love to hear your thoughts.